Hello friends, this is Leslie here from lesliewoice.com. Welcome to the Job Seekers Mastery course. We have completed two chapters in this Job Seekers Mastery course and uh, we have learned about how to search jobs and how you should prepare yourself before even you start applying for jobs. We learned about how to write a resume. We learned about how to write cover letter, how to write email to job hiring managers and recruiters. So we have learned all about all of these things in the previous videos. If you haven't watched, please do watch that. And today we are going to start the next chapter, chapter number three. In this chapter, we are going to learn about different tools that we can use for your job seeking, seeking activity. So you know about a lot of tools like Nogri, Job Portals, uh, LinkedIn, you know a lot of tools. But do you know the secrets in these tools? Do you know the in-depth how to use these tools? Various features in these tools. Most of the job seekers, I would say 98% of the job, job seekers doesn't know that. So I am going to teach all those in these upcoming videos. So I will talk about each one of the tools and how you should use that tool for your job seeking activity. So continue watching this video. So first we are going to learn about so first we are going to learn about uh, Naukri.com, how we can use Naukri.com for our job search. So this is the home page of Naukri as you might know already. So we will start about from the basics and we'll go to the advanced uh, features of Naukri.com to use in our job seeking activity. So first thing, what you do in Naukri, you just log in and go and check who has viewed your profile. You will update your profile and leave it and you will expect recruiters to call you, right? And most of the job seekers come to me and ask, sir, I'm not getting calls from Naukri.com. So we have already posted a video for how to get more interview calls, but that alone is not helpful, but you need to do a lot of other things as well. So Naukri as a tool, job seeking activity is a continuous activity that you need to do on everyday basis, okay? So in this video, we're going to learn two things. One is how to search jobs using Naukri. Second, how to create a job alert so that Naukri searches jobs and tell me these are the openings available in different companies. Okay, interesting. So let's get into the first thing that is how to search jobs. So when you come to the home page, this is the search tab that you can see here. Right, and you can see here all jobs, IIT and IAM jobs, Goldman jobs, international jobs, and work-in jobs. So let me explain you in a brief about what it is, what is IIT and IAM jobs, what is Goldman jobs, etc. So IIT and IAM jobs is specifically for people who has graduated from IIT or IAM. So if you are one of those person who has graduated from these institutes, then yes, you need to click here and then search for your jobs so that you can search particularly those jobs which are posted for you because there are certain companies which makes this degree mandatory. I mean, a degree from IIT or degree from IAM mandatory to apply for that role because they expect different skills. So that is the reason, right? So if you are one of them, then we can directly go here and click on IIT and IAM jobs and then you start your job search, which I'll be teaching in a few minutes, right? Second, government jobs. You cannot directly apply for any government jobs you can using Naukri, but you can get to know what are the opportunities, what are the jobs available in government using this government jobs tab, okay? So if you click in government jobs, you can see about different institutes, I mean the Goldman institutes which are hiring and you can go in each one of that and see if there is any relevant job for you, okay? And you have an option here, banking, oil, healthcare, education, so you, you, you can choose which department you want to go. So that is Goldman jobs. Then international jobs, I'm not very confident that Naukuri will help you to find an international job, the reason being most of the countries don't use Naukri to that 
you know, vast apart from India. So, getting an opportunity is difficult, but however, if you are very keen and if you are very serious about getting a job outside India, then probably yes, you have to look this option. Walk-in jobs, basically walk-in jobs is for freshers or uh, even for experience, but basically the entry level guys, you know, two to less than five years of experience people. We can see a lot of jobs from customer support, technical support and finance jobs like, uh, uh, you know, usually the R2R, uh, accounts payable, accounts receivable, all this process jobs because they hire in volume. So to uh, hire more people in a short duration, they put walk-in interviews. So if you are very actually in the job market, meaning that, you know, you don't have a job now, so you are very seriously looking for a job opportunity, then this is the area that you need to click on and look for walk-in jobs. So you can search here, you can look all the walk-in jobs here as well. Okay. So let's come to the first one that is the all jobs, right? So here, how to search is what we are going to learn now. So here is a search button which says key skills or designation or company. Depends on, on which criteria you want to search job. I will recommend you to go and search jobs based on your skill rather than company or designation because company ma can have multiple openings, not, uh, but if it doesn't have your skill or the job for your skill, then you might not be able to apply for that, for that right? So I will recommend you to go for skill-wise search and then there is a location, experience and salary. So let's do a search for uh, Java developer. So I'm giving Java. So you know what all skills Java developer will have. So I'm giving those skills uh, here, right? So if you don't know how to give key skills, then there is another video in my YouTube channel. Please click on that and watch it, which says how to find your key skills. Right, so these are a few skills in Java and I want to search a job in Chennai and I'm also flexible to work in Bangalore, so I'm giving Bangalore, right. Experience, I have, let's say, I have four years of experience, so I'm choosing four years here. I'll recommend you not to give salary because most of the companies might not disclose their salary or some companies even put less salary or more salary like that. There will be a lot of confusions, so don't go by salary. Just give these informations and click on search. Then you will get a, a page which lists out all the jobs relevant to Java developer. Okay. So before you go job by job, here is another interesting uh, filter that you have in Naukri, the freshness filter. You can see here last 30 days. That means all the jobs which are posted in last 30 days is shown here. But if you are a very active job seeker and you know you want uh, jobs very quickly, then I would recommend you to go for last seven days, right? And if in case you are a very nishkal, you having you are you are having a very nishkal and you don't see much openings, then ideally thirty days would be better. But if you are a very common skill like Java, .NET, web development, then ideally it should be you know seven days or three days even. So let's go by seven days. And you can go each one of the job here, right? So let's see this job. Hexava Technologies is hiring Java JDB professionals on Saturday. So I think this is a walk-in interview. Let's see what it is, right? Yes, it is a walk-in interview which is posted. You can see the walk-in interview as well. So if you are somebody who is available on Saturday and you can apply for this. To apply for this, you have to go directly to the location mentioned here and attend the interview okay so that is a walk-in interview but let's come to some other opportunity here uh, let's see ah, okay so senior software engineer java and it is from xerox company i believe and this is also looks like a walk-in yes so let's not get into that okay java developer in bangalore gartner Okay, that's a good company. Most of you might know. So here is the job description. You can go through the job description and understand if this job is good for you and or you qualify to apply for this. For example, you can see Apache here, Core Java, ETL, JDK, right? Scala, 
Python. So if you have all these skills, then yes, you have to apply for this job. Here is another interesting fact which Naukri gives. You can see job views by 122 people and job applicants by 508 people. You might ask me why job views is less, job applicants is more. People might have applied directly without even going clicking on this Java developer. You can select and apply. So they would have done like that. So that is the reason the job applicants is more. So you you have 508 competition, right? So you can apply here. Let's say what happens. Yeah, you are successfully applied for this job. Why it says like that? Because I have already logged in Naukri with my account. So that's the reason it directly gets applied. Okay. So that's one way of doing searching job and applying for those jobs. So next, see the next video which talks about your how to save job